I remember an interview which I read about, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago or something. I think it was in Guitar Player or one magazine, I can't remember now. And they asked Al Di Meola uh, why uh, the jazz radio wasn't playing his uh, records. And he said that because uh, they wanted some softer music. People on the, What people understood from jazz was always something soft, you know, something like elevator music. And... Uh, they ask you, know, can't you can't you make something a bit softer? Do you have to be always do you does your music always have to be so aggressive or something like that? I'm not, I'm not exactly I can't remember the exact words, but something in those lines. So and he said, I'm making jazz. I'm not making massage music. I always like that. I always remember that. And uh, this is strange because jazz is so broad. It can be there are some softer tunes which I also like. I like stuff like uh, Stan Getz and uh, I don't know, uh, like many other very soft uh, players or majority of their albums have that soft sound. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not, you know, I'm not judging anybody. I, I like all sorts of jazz. But then uh, what uh, people always, what people understand from jazz word is not always the same thing most of the time. It's like heavy metal. When you say heavy metal, people always expect really heavy tunes and lots of overdrive. And But then there are very good heavy metal slow songs. And some people just say, you know, I like slows of heavy, heavy slow, uh, slow heavy metal. You know, they couldn't stand anything else. I mean, by the same band, but they love those soft tunes. Anyway... And uh, that also reminds me, uh, there was a cafe, this was a long time ago, where I worked at, there was a cafe I worked at. And it was a nice place in a, neighbor, a nice neighborhood, and they wanted some feeling, some really classy feeling in the place. And the owners, or management, let's say, uh, they went to a record store and they said, you know, okay, we want some jazz music, and what's the best, they asked the I don't know whoever was taking care of the play, whoever was in charge. They asked, you know, what's the, who is the best jazz player? And the guy there, clerk or whoever, said that, uh, like without a doubt, Miles Davis. And they said, oh, that's great, Miles Davis. Then they bought 15 or, I think it was, I remember 15 CDs of Miles Davis' whole box set. And then uh, there was, in those days, there was that CD system where you could put, I don't know, I think it was like uh, five CDs or something, even more maybe. And whole day, uh, they played Miles Davis records there, I mean CDs. But the problem with that was Miles Davis had many different albums. Some of those albums, like Kind of Blue, which is fantastic if you're in a cafe, very soft, a groundbreaking record. But then there were albums more, you know... Um, his later albums where he was more experimental and some of those tunes were like nothing like your <laughs> expected jazz sound. They were like almost like heavy metal, almost like Jimi Hendrix or something, you know, in a way, you know, they, they didn't fit in that cafe environment at all. But, you know, it was that thing. Okay, jazz, it must be so. Who is the best jazz? Miles Davis. Okay, so Miles Davis plays the best soft music or something. And it was awful. I had to tell them, no, you can't play this album, although I love it. But, you know, your customers can't just sit down and sipping their coffee nicely and then listen to this really experimental, all the, you know, the drums and the like intense trumpet solos and everything, which is great if you're into it, but you can't expect everybody to be into that. So, you know... Um, it's just, I just want to talk about it. I just remember that a couple of minutes ago and I just want to make a video about it. Is jazz massage music? <laughs> no way, it's not. Some of them, maybe. I mean, some of those examples. But I see you on the next video. Bye.